The U.S. says that three soldiers are dead and at least 25 others are wounded after a drone attack on a military base in Jordan near its border with Syria. Now, this attack targeted a base known as Tower 22. This is right across this, the Syrian border and very, very close to a U.S. military base in Syria that's been run by special operation forces as part of their anti-Islamic state fight for years. Now, militia groups in Iraq have claimed this attack. They say they launched a drone targeting the U.S. forces. It remains unclear just how bad the damage is on the base. However, we've heard from U.S. President Joe Biden, who said that the U.S. is willing to retaliate at a time and a place of its choosing in the future. And all of this comes as we've seen wider tensions in the Middle East over Israel's ongoing war with Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Now, the attack was claimed by these Iraqi militia groups that are part of an umbrella organization backed by Iran. This is just another sign of just how unstable the Middle East is. We have seen other attacks claimed by Iranian-backed militias in the wider region since the Israeli war in Hamas began. That includes attacks by the Houthis on shipping in the Red Sea, as well as cross-border attacks by Lebanon's Hezbollah group on Israel. Moving forward, it remains unclear exactly what will happen next, but it shows just how wide the conflict has grown and just how dangerous it's become in the wider Middle East.